My name is Ike Nebwe. I'm a filmmaker from Lagos. 26 years ago, I came to this same bus park along with three of my friends. Our plan was to cross West Africa through Benin, Togo, Burkina Faso, Mali, Mauritania and Morocco. Then make our fortunes in Europe. Today, I'm about to retrace those steps. I still remember how it felt to leave the familiar, the excitement as we took the plunge into the unknown. We also felt a bit of apprehension. We were looking forward to reaching the coast of Spain to begin working in the farms. We were made to believe that there is always a job waiting for anyone who is ready to work. I was ready to work. When I first left Nigeria, I had to choose a new name. Mine was Junior. Of course, you can't be telling everyone you meet you are going to Europe. So you cook up a story and come up with a new identity. My name is Francis. We're just hoping for a better tomorrow. We, we don't know, we don't know how it's going to happen, but we just keep hoping. You go better than upon my prayer. So now say you yes. That night, all those years ago, when I left on my first journey, I had no moon to guide my path when I took to the road unknown. With eager feet and curious mind, hope was my only compass. A new kind of imamamu, the great coming of age ritual, where young Igbo men follow their elders under the moonlight into the village square where the mysteries of masquerades are finally revealed. The road is not only long, it is dangerous. Stories of robberies, beatings and even human trafficking are common. An argument breaks out on the side of the road, fears over why a group of girls are making this journey. While some people wait for days in towns and villages along the road, others wait months, even years. Je m'appelle Kwaku Amenan Berti. Je suis ivoirienne, bureau, baoulé. Je suis au Burkina, ça fait 14 ans. Je suis venue aussi par, par la voie. Et mon véritable but, c'était de traverser, de boutiner, aller à un autre pays, par exemple comme la France, les États-Unis. Mais nous sommes là-dedans et nous confrontons cette vie-là comme ça. On ne peut pas retourner au pays parce que ça fait les mêmes problèmes. De savoir qu'on a laissé des petites soeurs, des petits frères et des enfants même. Et aujourd'hui, on retourne sans toutefois avoir les moyens, c'est compliqué. Donc pour cela, on est là. Je peux y arriver comme je peux ne pas y arriver, mais j'irai quand même. Voilà. These women traveling through these perilous roads keep hope as their constant companion. That hope is like the moon, sometimes full in its abundance, and often went into a man nothing. There are those that get stuck along the way, and there are those that get sent back, but try again and again to reach their dream. Some have harrowing tales. My name is Anita. I was lucky I wasn't raped. I was lucky, but some ladies there, they told me they raped them. I just thank God that they did not rape me. I passed through the stress. We tried to Morocco. It was one day journey. It was bush, mountain. The policemen there, they returned us back to Mali. When they saw us, their dog was chasing us. 
We tried to run, but we can't run because we were scared that the dog is going to bite us. Oh, we got there, the dog just like start backing, backing. We stand until the policemen come to carry us and take us back to Mali. Hello, Bamako. We meet again. The last time I saw you, I was a slender young man with no beard on my chin. I only spent one night with you after two weeks on the road. One night, but you have stayed with me ever since. It was here where I took a diversion to the Gambia, the country that gave me my first taste of paid work and led me to a career in filmmaking. But hey Bamako, I love you. I was lucky. I never had to face the shame of going home with nothing. Thank you Bamako. Thank you. Finally, in Morocco. For me, Morocco represents uncharted territory. For many years I wondered what could have been if I had continued my journey from the Gambia. I still can't help but wonder what lay on the other side of that decision. After thousands of kilometers of road, the money often dries out. For some, begging becomes a form of survival. But this one is better than prostitution. Yeah, for sure. Of course. We are planning to go by the boat. Start I'm afraid, would you not float into deep sea? Hey, if the water floats, we'll swim out now. We have our life jacket. Auntie Zwen, Auntie, la have the life jacket. How much did you get? Ah, this is this is time of the first. I see it 25 grand. Begging on the streets is bleak, but these women are determined to reach their ultimate dream: a life in Europe. The shame of returning without achieving your goal is a crucial part of the identity crisis which grows out of the dream of migration. For me, the story was slightly different. I found my way home after the Gambia was able to make room for my dream. Oh wow, babe, look at this, we are close though. This one is journey of no return. Whether Laura and Sandra make it, we may never know. What I do know is, like many others I've met along the way, they may try and try again until they do.